High above us, a constant presence warms our world, the sun. It is the heart of our solar system, a massive ball of burning gases that has been shining for over 4.6 billion years. Its light and heat are essential for life on Earth, making it a vital part of our existence. It seems unchanging, a beacon of light and heat. To the naked eye the sun appears as a constant unwavering source of energy, rising and setting with predictable regularity. But the sun is far from static. Beneath its seemingly calm exterior lies a roiling, turbulent mass of plasma, constantly in motion and undergoing dramatic changes. It is a dynamic, evolving star. Solar flares, sunspots and coronal mass ejections are just a few examples of the sun's ever-changing nature. Recent scientific observations reveal something intriguing. Advanced instruments and space missions have provided us with unprecedented views of the sun's surface and its activity. The sun is changing perhaps more rapidly than we once thought. These changes are not just fascinating, they are crucial for understanding the future of our solar system. These changes have sparked a crucial question. Could these solar transformations impact life on Earth? The sun's energy sustains all life on our planet, driving photosynthesis in plants and influencing our climate. The sun's energy sustains all life on our planet. It dictates our seasons and weather patterns, affecting everything from agriculture to daily weather. Even subtle shifts in its behavior can ripple through the solar system, influencing planetary atmospheres and magnetic fields. Understanding these changes is paramount for predicting space weather and protecting our technology. Scientists around the world are dedicated to studying the sun, using advanced technology to monitor its activity and predict its future behavior. We must unravel the mysteries of our star to comprehend our place in the cosmos and safeguard our future. The more we learn about the sun, the better we can prepare for its changes and their potential impacts on our world. The sun pulsates with a rhythm, a cycle of activity that lasts approximately 11 Earth years. This cycle is known as the solar cycle and it is a fundamental aspect of our star's behavior. This cycle governs the appearance of sunspots, solar flares, and other solar phenomena. Sunspots are temporary phenomena on the sun's photosphere that appear as spots darker than the surrounding areas, and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. These events are driven by the sun's magnetic field, which becomes highly twisted and tangled during periods of high solar activity. Sunspots, those dark, cooler blemishes on the sun's surface, are windows into the sun's magnetic turmoil. They are regions where the magnetic field is about 2,500 times stronger than Earth's. They mark areas of intense magnetic activity. The number of sunspots increases and decreases over the solar cycle, peaking at solar maximum and reaching a low at solar minimum. Solar flares, sudden bursts of energy from the sun's surface can release as much energy as billions of atomic bombs. These flares can affect all layers of the solar atmosphere. Coronal mass ejections, even more powerful, are massive eruptions of plasma and magnetic fields. They can eject billions of tons of solar material into space. These events are not mere cosmic curiosities. They can disrupt satellite communications, navigation systems, and even power grids on Earth. They can have tangible effects on our planet. The beautiful auroras, or northern and southern lights, are a direct result of solar activity interacting with Earth's magnetic field. The sun's activity is not always constant. It goes through cycles of varying intensity, sometimes becoming extremely active and at other times entering periods of relative calm. It can experience periods of dramatic highs and lows, with solar flares and sunspots marking its more active phases. One such period, known as the Maunder Minimum, occurred between 1645 and 1715. This era was named after the solar astronomer Edward Maunder, who studied sunspot records of the time. During this time sunspot activity plummeted to almost zero. Observers of the era noted the sun's unusually quiet state. The sun's face became eerily blank, devoid of the usual sunspots that are a common feature of its surface. Coincidentally, this period coincided with a time of unusually cold temperatures on Earth, known as the Little Ice Age. Rivers that typically flowed freely froze over, and winters were harsher and longer. While the exact connection between the Maunder Minimum and the Little Ice Age remains a topic of debate, it underscores a crucial point. Scientists continue to study this period to understand the relationship between solar activity and climate. The sun's energy output is not static over long timescales, it fluctuates, and these changes can influence our planet in significant ways. 
These variations can have profound implications for Earth's climate, affecting weather patterns, temperatures, and even the habitability of certain regions. Today, powerful telescopes and sophisticated spacecraft monitor the sun around the clock. Agencies like NASA and the ESA keep a watchful eye on our star. Recent data paint a fascinating picture. The sun is currently emerging from a solar minimum, a period of reduced activity. We are now entering solar maximum, a time of heightened activity. Sunspots are more frequent, and solar flares and CMEs are more likely. This period of increased activity is expected to peak around 2025. This surge in solar activity has raised concerns about potential impacts on Earth. It's crucial to distinguish between natural solar variations and human-induced climate change. While the sun's energy output does fluctuate, these variations are cyclical and do not explain the current warming trend on our planet. The sun's energy output has remained relatively constant over the past century, while global temperatures have risen significantly. The overwhelming consensus among scientists is that human activities, particularly the emission of greenhouse gases, are the primary driver of this unprecedented warming. While the sun's natural variations play a role in Earth's climate, they are not the dominant factor in the current climate crisis. As we look to the future, the sun's behavior will continue to be a subject of intense study and observation. Advances in technology and space exploration are providing us with unprecedented insights into our star. Understanding the sun's cycles and potential for activity will not only help us protect our technological infrastructure, but also deepen our knowledge of the universe. The future may hold surprises, but with continued research and preparation, we can mitigate the risks posed by solar activity. By investing in space weather forecasting and resilient infrastructure, we can safeguard our world while continuing to explore the cosmos. The sun gives life but it can also disrupt our technological civilization. Solar storms, those bursts of energy and particles from the sun, can wreak havoc on our increasingly interconnected world. Power grids, satellites, GPS systems and communication networks are all vulnerable to these solar outbursts. History is replete with examples of the sun's power. In 1859, the Carrington event, the most intense geomagnetic storm ever recorded, disrupted telegraph systems worldwide. More recently, in 1989, a solar storm knocked out power to millions in Quebec, Canada. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. How do you think these changes in the sun could impact our future? Let us know in the comments below.